Uh, the transits are very important to us because it's actually something that has been used by astronomers for hundreds, hundreds of years to understand our solar system, how far our planets are from our sun, you know, the atmosphere of our planets. But nowadays they're actually used, the same system, when the planet crosses in front of the star, it causes the, the light of the star to dim a little bit. And they use that system to find planets outside our solar system, the exoplanets, and see if they can understand those planets, the atmosphere, and if they actually can find some kind of life form in them. Oh, it happens about 13 times every 100 years, so it's pretty rare. It has to do with the orbit of the planets and their inclination and how, you know, if they're in the exact place that they're crossing the star and we can see it from the Earth. So it's pretty rare. The last one actually happened about 10 years ago, and the next one is going to be in three years, in 2019. Well, this transit is actually going to be used mostly to calibrate instrumentation from the Solar Dynamic Observatory cameras, which is, like I said, the highest resolution mission that we have right now to look at our sun. And that's pretty important because the sun causes what is called space weather, which is something that it can affect us here on Earth. Um, however, you know, we actually are trying to find planets outside our solar system to understand our universe, to understand if we can find planets that can have some kind of life form in them. And we have we have a, a next coming mission, the uh, test mission, which is the Transiting Exoplanet Service Satellite, actually going to do that. It's going to actually see the transit of the planets in nearby bright stars and make, you do a survey that can actually do, uh, uh, ha have the targets of those planets used for different missions, future missions like the James Webb Telescope, where it is actually going to understand better the atmosphere of these planets and maybe see if there can be some kind of life form in the planets.